Hi Cancer, how are you? This is Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And uh, yes, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and all placements in between. If you would like a reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I am available for personal readings, and I would love to read for you. This is my website, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page, lamartownsendtarot.com. Become a member of my Patreon, check out my Twitch, I do monthly horoscopes there, check out my YouTube, my Spotify, which is my podcast, also available on Anchor, Apple, and more. Um, also, check out the section down here where you can uh, view all of the reviews from people who have purchased readings from me, and you can also go down here and follow me on Instagram and Facebook, alright? If you would like a reading from me, you would go directly to the store section of my website. Here's where you can view all of the rate services and products that I do offer. As you can see, I do birth chart readings, compatibility birth chart readings, and individual ones. I make jewelry. I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to your ancestors and spirit guides. I do past life readings if you want to learn about your past lives. I also do psychic tarot readings. I do phone psychic tarot readings, email psychic tarot readings, video recorded psychic tarot readings. I also do tarot classes. I'm, I sew, all right? Um, I also do have, uh, candles as well. So if you'd be interested in any of those things, I sell washcloths and soap. Check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. They are satin washcloths sewn actually by me, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and all placements in between. So if you have Cancer in your natal chart, this is for you. This tarot reading, Psychic Tarot reading, also covers the entire year of 2022, January through December of 2022. So stick around, grab a snack, all right? Grab your coffee, whatever it is you are into, and let's get into it. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck from your past reading. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you also like the video. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. This stage smells so good. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this deck from your past reading. Amen, amen, amen. So we will pull a final card at the end. So we will put the final card deck um, to the side for now. All right. And we're going to go ahead and see what's in store for the Zodiac sign Cancer for j the year of 2022. What's coming up for the Zodiac sign Cancer for the year 2022? <clears throat> the first card I get for you, Cancer, is the Five of pentacles there's something about you where there's a lot going on in your mind and a lot of it may deal with your sense of stability um and where exactly your sense of stability or your need for stability we all need stability in our life but this specifically i feel like deals with finances and things of that nature where this will take you down the line now this could be the next five maybe five days five weeks five months but there's something about fear anxiety excitement wanting to leave certain things certain people behind but also fearful of leaving certain things or people behind a lot going on in the mind but there's a couple arguing back here and then this person leaving in, in, in a in a you know dark of night so you could also be moving away from an environment that is not conducive to who you are becoming this year I get the Eight of Cups showing up in your um, placement of money, finances, and personal belongings. When it comes to money and personal belongings and things of this nature, it's a long-term goal. It's um, a long-term plan that you are considering. It could be something you're saving for. Um, it could be trying to be better with saving, trying to be better with your money and finances or something like that, but it's long-term. It's going to take time. It also feels like it may take needing to um what's the word i want to use it may take you needing to um work on certain habits that you have once again that are also going to take time all right the nine of cups shows up in your placement of your mind communication um and intellect there's something where this year there is a strong 
you have a strong mind, I think, and there's something where it's possible that you could be making some decisions that it's it's all about you this year. And you may find that some people may not be happy with the decisions you make, but you need to do what's best for you. You may need to have a conversation with certain people like, this is what I want to do. I want to move across the country. I want to move to the other side of the world. And you know, I'm going to do it. All right. The Wheel of Fortune shows up in your placement of emotions, home, and family. So emotionally, it's a year of, of strong growth. Of I feel like you taking chances. All right. Intuitive chances, emotional chances. I feel emotionally drawn towards this, this person, this thing, this place. Right. And I think it's through that, through taking these leaps of faith that you are going to grow immensely. It's kind of like the energy of if you've ever been to college that first year, that freshman year, when you first move in, it's like a big leap of faith, you know, but it's through the journey of completing it that, you know, the growth comes. The getting there is just the start, right? The taking that leap of faith is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg. The star card shows up in your placement of emotion, or not, I'm sorry, not emotions, of your sense of creativity, self-expression, your vitality for life and energy, and your romantic life. This could be, you know, a very strong energy in terms of you being a viable candidate for something. Whether it be a viable candidate for, uh, you know, someone that uh, fancies your interest or vice versa or an opportunity in some way, shape or form. This could also you be you being very strongly connected to your life purpose this year or getting more strongly connected to your life purpose this year. And I get the number five once again. So there's something about five weeks, five months or uh, maybe this would be around July, August. All right. Summertime could be prominent. Judgment card shows up, which to me is always like a, an answered prayer. This shows up in placement of your health, daily routine, work, and job. So it does seem like some answered prayer could come through for you within six months, six weeks. Definitely by, I would say, August, September. The Justice card shows up in your placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships and business partnerships. So there is going to be a balancing act between you and how much you're able to give to others and i think there's something about in that balancing act you may like have to let go of d certain dead weight but whatever you're willing to keep around or whoever you're willing to keep around there does need, need to be um compromise of some sort or an understanding of some sort um there's going to be a focus on balanced relationships, reciprocation as well this year. Friendships, business partnerships, lovers that, that reciprocate where there's balance. Because I think you've reached a point now where you no longer are willing to invest in that emotional topsy-turviness that sometimes people can bring into your life, right? From the past. I think change for you this year is, is patience, though. It's going to involve patience. It's a little bit of a waiting game. Time is on your side when it comes to these energies, all right, Cancer? In 2022. Change is coming. Change is happening. You are transforming, but it's going to take time, all right, at the same time. Keep on the track that you're on. Keep hitting the, hitting the pavement running. Keep being consistent. The world card shows up in your placement of travel, home, education, all right, investing in new skills. So this could be, you know, some new skill, talent, um, capability that you have that allots you the opportunity maybe to travel, right? Or this could be, once again, you, you moving. I keep getting moving, all right? Taking a leap of faith, saying, I'm just going to do it. Maybe by the end of the year, it could be not, not nine months into the year, by the end of the year, around November, December. But um, really good energy around you so far, especially in terms of you taking leaps of faith once again. All right. I 
I get the Ace of Swords. There's a strong knowing of where you're heading connected to your career and your professional life by the end of this year. There's also a strong knowing, understanding, and appreciation for your past as well. Enlightenment, I feel. Or I hear, I think I heard spirits say enlightenment. Which is interesting because the Ace of Swords can mean enlightenment. <clears throat> Alright? But I feel like enlightenment that comes from your past experiences. That by the end of the year, you will have closure on certain things. And there's a better understanding of certain things. Why you acted the way you did or why you even invested in certain things the way you did I think things come full circle all right new opportunities could come through maybe social media the internet technology or friends acquaintances social group it could also be in you taking on a new journey you kind of meet your tribe you meet new friends acquaintances social groups or something like that you would be open to that this year especially if you're due for new friends or new people around you, a new community to connect with. All right. And your last card is the Six of Pentacles, a card of success, abundance, and prosperity, Cancer. And it comes from you following your spirit, your spiritual calling, your emotional calling. Once again, what are you emotionally being drawn towards? Don't deny it. All right. You may actually find that in you denying your uh, true emotions and needs and intuitive feelings that, that, you know, that's what makes you angry, irate, or upset. Because sometimes it can be, you know, so much that you don't want to leave your comfort zones because it's all you know. But you're looking for more internally and, you know, that dichotomy, that contradiction can cause friction. All right. In some way. All right. So let's go ahead and pull a final card for you. This was a good reading, Cancer. I really like this for you. What's the final message for Cancer? Remember, if you guys want a personal reading, I am available on my website, LamarTownsandTarot.com. Oh, this makes sense. I love this for you. You got the sensitivity card. It says you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. You most likely will experience spiritual ascension symptoms this year as well. As your spiritual body... Uh, elevates and your physical body has to elevate to that same frequency and vibration that's where the sensitivity comes in you know and the psychic awareness comes in all right so take care of yourself i think once again in you following your spiritual journey you also find your tribe your tribe of people so good for you I love this for you, Cancer. I'm so happy for you. Remember, if you want a personal reading, I am available via my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Thank you for listening and watching. And um, do not hesitate to reach out for a reading. I'll see you in your own personal reading. I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light. God bless and have a great year, Cancer. And don't forget, you can come back and view this video throughout the year whenever you need to watch it. Until the next one.